Hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's your girl Twin D. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. Let's jump straight into your message. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> All right, guys. Mini read. Mini read. Let's see what's going on with your divine masculines. Let's see what's up. Heart with a key. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. So I'm getting that your divine masculine is that they're finally accepting your connection for who, for, for what it is and accepting you for who you are. There's a get together that's going to happen. Your divine masculines are finally opening up their heart to you. They're forgetting about something. They're forgetting about something in their past. Some of them are breaking. Whoa, whoa, come on, come on. Like, how many? Okay, let me take them. Let me take them. Some of them have forgotten about someone in their past that they were hanging on to. You got the runner, the boat. Yeah, they were in a codependent relationship. It's right there. No wonder we got that relationship over at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's like they're finally, finally letting go off of these things that were holding them back in their past. Those were the things that were keeping them stuck from you. Those are the people and things they were hanging on to. Mostly people. And realizing that what exactly they prayed for is coming to them. It already came to them. You are the one that they prayed for. You came to them and they're finally accepting it. Finally accepting it. Look at that. The epiphany. A sudden change. It's a shock. Shocking news. Like I finally figured it out. Epiphany. They realize that you truly love them. They know that they loved you. One, one, one. But they couldn't find out if your love for them was real. Because everybody around them was all fake. So does this person truly love me? Do they really love me? So they're reminiscing, going back in the past. Reminiscing about you and them, looking at everything, finding things out. But now they want to make new memories with you. Yeah. Right underneath the runner. Girl with a snake. Your person's setting boundaries with these people. You're setting boundaries with them. Your person's evolving. They're changing. They have healed their inner childhood wounds. Reflecting on our wounds. Listen guys, I, I can't, I tell you, I can't lie to you about these messages. All their wounds were being reflected to them and that's what they're figuring out. The epiphany. So what was happening between me and this person, it was like a lesson for me to learn. And it's like a lesson for me to understand. Your divine masculines are finally understanding why they are going through what they are going through. It was for them to realize who they truly are and to break free from those manipulative people. <laughs> Sunglasses. So they're definitely keeping an eye on you. Now that they know everything, now that they can see everything, they're keeping an eye on you. They're watching you. And that's because they have plans on coming back in. They have plans. They have plans for this contract. I like you. You like me. Let's get together. Come on. Like, I mean, it took me like a hundred years to figure it out. But I'm here now. So let's just be together. Let's just start over. Let's go on a few dates, you know. Maybe just two dates, you know. Make it romantic. Keepsakes, reminiscing. These are my masculines. They cherished everything that you did for them, that you gave to them. And now they want to make those new memories. They want to make those new memories. That finally, finally, they're figuring it out. Finally. Give me some truth on this message, please, Father God. Give me some truth, please. Mm, it's the fear. Fear is a terrible thing. Fear is a terrible thing. 
The fear of being hurt again. The fear of being manipulated again. The fear of being controlled again. The fear of making a mistake. The fear of losing themselves in someone again. Yeah, that they put themselves in this situation. A one-sided love. One-sided love. That, that they, they lost a lot. They lost everything they had. They, and most importantly, they lost themselves. That's why they are striving to find themselves again. Because they lost the most important thing to them. By holding on to those negative people that were manipulating them. They lost themselves. What else can you tell me please? Financial issues. They lost a lot. Yeah. Come card. We're, we're working here. They lost a lot. They had difficulties with their finances. Yeah. That was taken too. That was taken too. Now they're moving on. Play, laugh, be happy. They're definitely moving on because they had that epiphany. They had that sudden shock. Everything just like, wake up, dude. Wake up. Wake up. They felt like giving up. They felt like giving up. But then when they realized that they only felt like giving up because they were fearing a new start. They were fearing to start over. They were fearing losing again. They, they, they worked on that. They worked on that issue. They worked on that issue. Making an offer, bringing gifts. I'm asking anytime. I'm ready anytime. Anytime I'm ready. You could call me tomorrow and say, come, come. Come, Twin D, come. I'm ready. I'm ready. I say, I'm ready too. But what are your plans? What are your plans? You're just going to say, come and... And I'm just going to go. I mean, I love you to death, but I mean, what are your plans for me? If I, if I, there has to be a plan, buddy. There has to be a plan. What do you want me for? One, one, one night, a week, a month. What, what? Speak up, you know? <laughs> like, speak up. <laughs> if that were to happen, my mask would be so scared. He'd run right back. <laughs> Let go and let God, but I don't care. You, you gotta have a plan for me. This is no joke. I'm not in the joke anymore. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the situation. I'm not. I'm not in a place for anybody to come and take advantage of me again. I'm not. I'm not in that place to be used again. You. You want me? I am available. But what are your plans for me? You already know my plans for you, masculine, because I've been telling you since the day we met. Yeah. But yeah, that's the they that's them, seven four seven, being immature, you know, a little player running around, you know. But that's because they didn't understand themselves. They had lost themselves, remember. They had lost themselves. Give me one more here, please. Let go and move on. Didn't we see this already? No, it's that. <laughs> so they're definitely letting go. They're definitely letting go. It's time for them to move on. It's time for them to move towards a divine feminine. It's time for, for them to make a change. And this change... Oh, look. Oh, my God. Look in my hand. Making changes. It's time for them to make this change. Intimidate, intimidated by you. What is like the same thing I just said? It's like the same thing I just said. When they are coming in, they know they have to come with a plan. They know they cannot just come in and say, okay, let's start over. But where are we going to start and where are we headed? They know they just can't come like that. They have to have a plan. And that's why you intimidate them because they know they have to have a plan. Move on, move on, let go, let go. They're definitely making changes in their lives. Big, big changes. And these changes are going to reflect on you, Divine Feminines, because you are at the center of these changes. It's because you are in their life that you show them what true love is. It's because you're in their life that you show them who they're able to become. It's because you're in their life that they got the strength to walk away, break free from the situations that they were stuck in. Those narcissistic situations that they were hanging on to. Their codependent issues. Their fear of abandonment issues. That's why they didn't jump. They didn't move when they were supposed to. Because if I walk away from this situation, and what if this person, this new person turns their back on me? I'm going to be left alone. I don't want to be alone. 
But things are definitely changing. Your maskings are much wiser now. They're ready for a new start. This has been your message, everyone. To pay for a book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site. 